Watch him get stuck. Yeah, well, oh, wow. So what makes a boondocking spot the perfect boondocking spot? And I'm not saying where we're at in Butte right now is the perfect boondocking spot, but it's pretty close. So the first and probably most important criteria to us as far as the perfect boondocking site is the view. And uh, we have got quite the view here. It's tough to find a boondocking site with a terrible view in Alaska. And what we love to see in a view, we love to see water, we love to see mountains, we love to see snow. Tiny bit of snow, we'll count that. <laughs> Um, Rissa loves bridges. So if you look through this fog coming through here, we got a bridge. As far as the view side of things, I mean, this covers pretty much all the bases. So the perfect boondocking site doesn't have a lot of noise. This one isn't too bad, uh, but in a lot of Alaska, you're going to get plane noise from, you know, tours and people flying their own planes. Boondocking, what kind of noises we encountered? Like sometimes tra train Trains, tracks? Trains, planes. planes. I heard ATVs this morning. Yeah. I mean, it's one of two things, either you have a boondocking spot that's super secluded, but you probably have to like drive off the beaten path to get to it, mm -hmm. or it's gonna be around a little bit of noise sometimes just because, I mean, it's free land or cheap land and it has more noise, so it's just. It's just part of it, but then some yeah. of the noise is some of the experience. It's neat seeing the planes flying around the here. The planes it's neat have having been the boats. super cool. It's, it's pretty cool here. The uh, beauty, like gives it extra points that it gets some serious points. I didn't points. even get angry when the ATVs woke me up this morning and the planes <laughs> because I was like, this place is awesome. <laughs> oh. So for us, the perfect boondocking spot is going to have room to maneuver. Uh, we're already pretty low to the ground with our Airstream. We love <laughs> where we can get in with, you know, almost any rig and plus we can show you guys, say, hey, look, Come on here, you know, 35 feet or less or 40 feet or less. This is one of those any size rig can get into type areas and we love those kind of areas. They get bonus points for that. I think a big part of the perfect boondocking experience too can be the company you have while you do that. Um, this guy's kind of looking creepy back there, but uh, we've really enjoyed spending time with uh, finding our someday. Cause I know for some people like boondocking just freaks them out. But I think, um, especially if you go to a spot with someone you know, it makes that spot more enjoyable. Mm -hmm. Get it, Lily? Oh. Can't do it. Nobody, nobody will ever see yeah, that, don't worry. Yeah, we'll do okay, yeah. Three. Yeah. Do it. Corey, you gotta teach these girls how to skip rocks, man. I thought I did at one point. <laughs> at one point, when we're like, all I said is, like, you gotta curve the arm. <laughs> curve the arm? You actually <laughs> use that? I didn't say that. <laughs> I said, you gotta keep it level. And you, you as you're throwing you it, it you wanna snap your wrist so you get some spin no. on the rock. Almost. A little, little more spin. <laughs> and so for us, with the boondocking spot, uh, I think a big thing is just having stuff to do. And, and, and the cool thing is like, a lot of that's naturally gonna happen. With, if you're near water, skipping rocks, fishing. You know, sometimes there's hiking trails around. I mean, even if we've got puddles, our kid is happy for hours. <laughs> and there were also close to some great hiking trails, some great stuff to do in this area. Uh, we're actually gonna go check out Hatcher Pass, which we've been around Hatcher Pass, but we couldn't see a lot. Because our style, I mean, I don't know, maybe it's just us. We just can't sit still too long. <laughs> so, and so if we're staying in a great boondocking spot like what we got now for say a week, we still wanna be able to go out, branch out and see these things. And uh, something like Hatcher Pass is a pretty sweet place to check out.
tons of people boondocking up here on the Wade Hatcher Pass, which uh, we're not technically up the top yet, it's this way. And I'm gonna guess a lot of them are locals. Pretty awesome spots. Again, not gonna say perfect. I don't know if there is a perfect boondocking spot, maybe one day, but this is pretty cool out here. And another thing the locals are doing uh, once you get up here, well, I say locals, we're doing it too, but it's picking blueberries. So they're picking blueberries. Um, they've all got their ATVs out here and it's cause it's hunting season. So they're hunting, fishing, just Alaska is really awesome. They're making full use of not only like the boondocking experience, but doing all those things while they're out here boondocking. Blueberry taking day. Did you pick all these blueberries? Yep. Wow. This is awesome, babe. Yeah. But we're feeling blueberries. <laughs> yeah. I mean, that's like a, that's like five dollars worth of blueberries. Oh man. You're doing so good, Hensley. I'm always telling you not to pick things, but you can pick away here. Pick all you want. Are they so yummy? They are so yummy. Get the biggest ones you can. Have you tasted any of them, babe? I haven't. Oh, I see. Yeah, a little more tart. I think they're ripe though. If we were boondocking on this pass, one thing we don't have out here that we did have at our other boondocking spot is, uh, is cell phone coverage, which is something we definitely need for the work that we do. Uh, and so if cell phone coverage is important to you for internet, for work, for calls, text, all that kind of stuff, uh, there are some things you can do. You don't have to give up on boondocking and just only camp at RV parks next to the interstate or major roads or cities. Uh, you can use, I guess, two things we like to use. One is called Coverage. It's an app by Technomadia. And another app called Open Signal. Now, what both of these apps basically do is they will show you, based on what other data has been turned in for the area, how good the cell signal is for the area. If there's not any data coming back, you're just kind of taking a chance. So you can go with plan C. You have sites like Campendium where people not only leave reviews for the sites in the boondocking area, but they'll also leave reviews of how good the cell signal is. Did you pick all those? Yep. Wow. Can you see when you get really close, is that what you want? Yeah. <laughs> you did so good. Okay, run, 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 Another thing that's good to have your perfect boondocking spot is water. Luckily there's a gas station about 10 minutes down the road. 
They got potable water. Usually if you just use an app, um, I don't get all stays and uh, wiki camps, park advisor, something like that. Uh, they'll sort of track down where most of the time if there's a dump station, there's gonna be fresh water there. Maybe, maybe not. Fortunately, there's like tons of fresh water like where we're staying there with the river but we don't have a good enough filtration system for that. But we like to use these six gallon containers. Uh, always keep a couple of those with us that are empty. And then, so if we either know of a place that has water or spot a place that has water, we swing by, grab water, and take it back. And hopefully it's not too far from where the boondocking spot is. So is there such a thing as the perfect boondocking site? Um, I'm gonna say it's pretty tough to say. There's, there might be a perfect one out there for you. I know for us, we haven't found a perfect one yet and we don't expect to. Um, I think we just, that's part of the surprise, the allure, you don't know what you're gonna get. I mean, this is probably like an eight and then all of a sudden tonight, the weather cleared out so everybody and their mom is here with it i mean literally i've seen moms with kids like riding around four wheelers and utvs i mean motorcycles you name it which is pretty cool to watch but probably not gonna be pretty cool to try to sleep through that because i'm betting they're gonna be they're gonna be riding hard tonight i'm afraid so um. it's just about making family memories together mm -hmm. and trying something new and having an adventure is really what what it's all about we're gonna wrap this up hopefully not have too much noise <laughs> hang out with uh, some of our friends we've got here in the same area, which makes it awesome when you're boondocking. And we'll catch you guys later. <laughs>